San Diego blood banks are sounding the alarm over a critical shortage that could delay surgeries and cancer treatments that were already postponed during the pandemic. Tonight, News aides Abby Alford shows us what behind what's behind what some of the Red Cross are calling the worst shortage in San Diego's history and how you can actually help. Blood and platelet donations do not take a holiday. That's why we have these San Diegans in here today at the American Red Cross donating their platelets and blood because they know that this is one of the worst blood shortages in America and they want to help. I've been donating blood since I was like 16. And blood donors like Sarah McKee are greatly needed right now, especially coming off of a holiday weekend where hospitals say that they see a rise in trauma patients who will need a blood transfusion. There's a concern that they would have to cancel surgeries uh, to be able to keep their uh, emergency rooms open or trauma surgeries. Coupled with the holiday, blood banks say that there's a surge of elective surgeries and organ transplants that were held off during the pandemic, and now they're depleting the U.S. blood supply, including in San Diego. I've been in blood banking nearly 30 years, and this is one of the worst shortages I've ever seen. The American Red Cross in San Diego says currently they only have a one-day supply for O-positive and O-negative blood, which is often found in Latino populations. B-positive and B-negative blood is also needed, which is often found in African Americans. It's a similar case for the San Diego Blood Bank. In most blood types, we are about at a two-day supply. Ideally, we like to keep at least a seven-day supply on the shelves. The COVID vaccine does not impact blood donors. What we really are asking is for our own community to come out now. Cancer patients rely on people like Sarah McKee who are donating their platelets. Some cancer therapies were delayed during the pandemic, and now there's a demand for platelets. So I've been donating for a long time, so I've definitely gotten the calls when they're short on blood and things like that before but it's it's nothing like it's been the last couple of weeks or months. Blood banks say that the shortage is expected to last all summer. So to try to get ahead of this, they're making a plea with current and new donors and adding more blood drives and mobile sites and increasing their hours. It always feels good to come and donate. It's such an easy thing to do to help people. Blood donations can take about an hour and platelets take two hours. Each donation can save three lives. To learn more, just go to our website at cbs8.com. Click on the help button.